Hey everybody, this is Wes from the Console Gaming Crew Podcast, and we want to proudly say that we are a part of the Boss Rush Network at BossRush.net. BossRush.net is a place where you can find up-to-date news articles, blogs, and podcasts about video games. In addition to that, there is a growing collection of podcasts, not just in the gaming community, but other communities as well. We are honored to be a part of such a great network of podcasters and content creators. So please stop by and give everyone a listen at BossRush.net. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Yo, crew members, what it be? Hey, we're back. <laughs> Time for part two. Yes, yes, yes. We just got done giving everybody in the previous episode a rundown of the Sony state of play. And now, Wes and I, because Anthony's still not here, are going to give you a breakdown of the Nintendo Direct, which also came to us on the same day. Yep. So uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Without further ado, let's hit you with. The Nintendo Direct. Now, uh, the website that there was a lot that they released here. Uh, the episode, the episode, sorry, the website that Wes and I are using to recap is IGN, and this shit is all out of order. So we're not going to be hitting everything in the order in which, you know, in which they did. But at least we're giving you all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's let's what, I mean, start. That, that's what matters most. We're going to start with the biggest bit of news there. And that is the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Number one, we is, got a name. Yeah, called Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And it's we got a be, date. Yes, May 12th, 2023. And what it says here, alongside another short glimpse of gameplay, uh, everything I just said. Yeah, release date in the name. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yeah, the trailer contained footage of Link exploring Hyrule, both on land and in the sky. Gave us a look at the new stasis power and shattered world that Hyrule looks to have become. It also featured a bunch of skydiving, Link riding aboard a stone bird, and so much more. Yeah, it looked like there was a lot more, uh, like, verticality to the levels. Like, they really utilized, like, <laughs> going, like, there was platform, like, you had to use, I think it was stasis that you used to, like, hit a platform and then ride it all the way up in the air to get yeah. to some more floating plat. Like, it looked like there were a lot of, like, floating platforms in the sky. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it looks like it's a mix of, like, Hyrule and uh, Pandora from Avatar. Yeah. You know I mean, with the floating mountains. 100%. So that, that's really all we have to go on right now. I mean, let's be real. So far, if you're a hardcore Zelda fan, I mean, all you really cared about at this point was probably the, the release date anyway. Yes. <laughs> so they gave you the release date. You got the title. You got to see a little bit. So they'll obviously be uh, giving us more to go on between now and May 12th. So that's that's it for that. And Wes, why don't you uh, talk to us about some colorful little aliens? <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and give everybody the information that we have for Pikmin 4. We finally find out that it will arrive in 2023. So uh, Shigeru Miyamoto stopped by the Nintendo Direct to announce Pikmin 4 will finally be released on Switch in 2023. This news will be a long will be long time coming as Miyamoto had previously stated that the game was very close to completion seven years ago. <laughs> yeah. Man taking a Borderlands style break. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Fucking A. Oh yeah. man. So that hits yeah, harder so really, than it should. Yeah, so really that's all we really got on uh on Pikmin 4. So I'll move right into Fire Emblem Engage, which is announced as a new mainline game, and it features Marth, which funny enough was always one of my favorite characters to use in uh Smash Brothers. Oh really? Um oh yeah. Um Marth and Roy. Um Fire Emblem Engage is the next main entry in the Fire Emblem series, and it will follow a story set a thousand years after Four Kingdoms sealed away the great evil known as the Fell Dragon. In Engage, players will become a divine dragon called Alir, who must work to collect emblem rings to bring peace back to the continent of Elios. Elios. Along your journey, you will even be able to have other previous Fire Emblem characters join your party like Marth and Celica. Fire Emblem Engage will be released on Nintendo Switch on January 20th, 2023. Nice. I've never gotten into those Fire Emblem games. I've never even tried them. I played a Fire Emblem game a long time ago, and it's not that I wasn't into it. Just other things came out at the time. It got pushed to the side like so many other great games do. Okay. Um, I think I might. 
One of these days I might mess with it. Catch a good deal on it or something. I might go ahead and grab it. Um, what? next one. Say what? I was gonna say, why don't you uh take us right on to the big pink sucker? <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and talk about that guy. Um, so Kirby's Return to Dreamland was first released on Wii back in 2011, and in 2023 we will see an arrive for the game on the Switch with our favorite brand new pink puffy package. The updated title feature is up to four player multiplayer in the collection of mini games like Samurai Kirby and Magalore's Tome Trackers. Does any of this ring a bell for you? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Um, Not the at Kirby all. Return to Dreamland Deluxe will be released on February 24th, 2023. There's a, dude, February is going to be a bomb then fucking again. month. I will Holy say this. I, I will drop this nugget here for the first time ever on the Console Gaming Crew podcast. Um, I have never played a Kirby game in my entire life. Never one. I thought you were like the Nintendo guy. I played a lot on Nintendo, but I've never played Kirby. You played Nintendo. You played Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo, Nintendo played... 64, and every Nintendo console you can possibly have, I have. And, you've and, ne- I've played and out of all games. of that, how many Kirby games have come out in all that time? I have never even used Kirby in Smash Bros. <laughs> like, that was Jess's favorite. I have never played a Kirby game. I've never used Kirby in a game that you could use Kirby in. It's never happened. Nothing against it. It's not I've like, oh, I hate Kirby. At I don't Kirby. play it. I've never wanted to be a Kirby. He is dead to me. I mean, I've had a problem with Kirby ever <laughs> since I went against Kirby in Smash Bros. And he just and sucked home, you up. And home, the homie straight sucked me down, stole my powers, and, you know, that whole Okay, bit. so you got, you know I mean, you know I mean, so you got a little bit of something, something against him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got some, you got a traumatic deal, you know what I mean, with Kirby. You going to throw me down and take my power. That ain't cool. You going to throw me down. Oh, my God. I expect <laughs> that line. <laughs> I mean, it is It is what it is, man. Holy shit. Yo, Just, right? yo, I understand we're not, like, G-rated. We are not G-rated. We're not we even not PG-rated. Need to be N- yo, we do not need to be NC-17 rated either. Bruh. TVMA. My man. Calm down. My anyway all right so moving past that we are on to octopath traveler 2 announced with new heroes and the same wonderful 2d hd art style octopath traveler 2 will be released on february 24th 2023 and will bring with it a whole new group of heroes and a brand new story to experience in the world of solistia all with the same wonderful 2D HD art style that set the original apart from other JRPGs. Octopath Traveler 2, however, will not be a Switch exclusive and will also launch on PC via Steam, PS5, and PS4. Oh, interesting. Now, the first Octopath Traveler is on Game Pass. I know that. Yes, and I've heard great things. So have I, I, have I, think Hav, things. I think Hav fucked with it and he said and, he enjoyed it. And I, lo- sure I, loved, it. I love the art style. I really do. There's something about that art style. It also kind of reminds me of uh, there was a game that Mike played. He loved it on uh, on the DS, I believe, called Bravely Default. That kind of looked similar to me. But okay. yeah, the game looks great. And uh, now Wes gets to take you into a game that he actually thought he saw in the PlayStation. <laughs> in the, yeah, uh, because in I, the PlayStation state of play. I mean, look, I don't think when I sit here and like spurt this shit out, like like I literally said out loud when I was watching it going. This is like Bayonetta, not thinking, isn't Bayonetta an exclusive to fucking Nintendo? <laughs> like, yeah. you you dummy. So, uh, Nintendo Direct gave fans a new Bayonetta 3 trailer that reveals a bit more about the game and is set to be released on the Switch October 28th of this year. The new footage showed off combat, demon summoning, Bayonetta's transformation abilities, plus more. That's a, like, so Bayonetta and Xenoblade like Chrono Trigger, like, yo, those those are the three games that I've always wanted to mess with, but I don't know where to start. Because those styles of games don't, it doesn't always, like, flow, you know what I mean, congruently yeah. with, you, you mean, with the sequels and stuff. I understand what you're saying. Oh, looking at how this is going, I'm so fucking jelly of the one that you get to announce. Uh, the but, one I get next? Yeah. Yeah. Because it blew my mind. Yeah, like I wasn't Dick expecting that either. 
even though like uh, literally for me it means nothing. Oh, it but, means everything to me. Yeah, but how how about you go into um the Final Fantasy? Yes, yeah, so Final Fantasy theater rhythm. Final bar line I like is the way you said that. Final theater Fantasy rhythm. theater rhythm. Like like you just Yeah. Final bar line is a celebration of the franchise's music and it's out early next year. Now this is actually cool to me because it's not just another Final Fantasy game just like the rest of it. It's something a little different, which is cool. So Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line is the ultimate celebration of the franchise's music, and it's a brand new entry in the series that began on 3DS. This new game will feature 385 songs. That is so cool. It will let... Well, I mean, fuck, they've had 94 games. Um, And it will let two players play locally and up to four players online. And that, they, also, they have 94 it, games, and that's only just off of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> right. Um, it will also have a season pass that will add 90 new songs, including some from other games like Nier, Octopath Traveler, and Live... What? Live a Live? Live a Live? Live a Live. Live, live a Live. 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 Not sure. One of them. L and L. L A L. I don't know what it is. It's lol. stupid as shit, though. It's lol. It's or stupid. Lol. <laughs> oh my god. What color's the dress? Um. Anyway, it will be released on the Nintendo Switch on February sixteenth, twenty twenty three. And now Wes gets to bring you some fucking amazing news. Damn it! I will give y'all some of the greatest news that you will hear for a Nintendo emulator ever. <laughs> Nintendo revealed some upcoming games that will soon be added to the Nintendo Switch Online, and perhaps the most exciting one for a lot of people is GoldenEye 007. So if that wasn't exciting enough for you, GoldenEye will even feature online play. So now everybody gets to be odd job, and nobody gets to shoot them, and everybody gets mad. I just want to karate chop people. And hiding in the fucking, in, in, in the bathroom stall. <laughs> in addition to GoldenEye, we're also going to be getting Pilot Wings, Mario Party, Mario Party 2, Mario Party 3, Pokemon Stadium, and Pokemon Stadium 2. As well as 1080 Snowboarding and Excite Bike, Excite Bike 64. And they all will be joining the service. From this point now until 2023. All right. Are you all ready? GoldenEye 007, Smash. Mario Party, Smash. Mario Party 2 and 3, Smash. Pokemon Stadium, Mega Smash. Stadium 2, I actually never played funny enough. Um, I don't think I played any of the stadiums. Snowboarding, stadium. super fun. Except like 64, I also didn't play either. But I love the original it's... side bike. Yeah, such a, such a good game. All right, it is my job to bring... Of course it is. It is my job to bring you Crisis Core. Final Fantasy VII Reunion will be released on December 13th, 2022. Why do we need more of this? Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion will officially be released on Switch and other platforms on December 13th, 2022. It will tell the story of Zack Fair and will be a remaster of the PSP Classic. So the train of remastered Final Fantasy games continues. Yes, it does. It, you look, man, you know that train ain't stopping, and you always know what station it's at. All right. That one you can put your watch to. Next up, we have Wave 3 of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass will launch this holiday and will include eight courses, including Merry Mountain from Mario Kart Tour and uh, Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. Jess and I were looking at this, looking at like how expansive this um this course uh pass is for just because of like how much like the kids love playing um uh, Mario Kart. Yeah. Dude, you get a lot. You get like an insane amount with this pass. So this is this is definitely up to maybe we'll do it. <laughs> maybe. maybe. But All now right. you get to talk about yeah, you know I mean? a little bit of sports action. Nintendo Switch Sports, to be exact, will get its free golf mode this holiday. 
Nintendo Switch Sports Golf Mode has been delayed to this holiday. When it does arrive as a free update later this year, it will bring with it the 21 holes from the Wii Sports series and let you play with friends locally or with up to eight players online in survival golf. That actually sounds kind of fun. Yes, it does. Survival golf. That's a that 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 sounds pretty nuts. Uh, next up, we have uh, Mario Strikers: The Battle League, and it's going to be getting its second free update for this month. So, um, the second update that will be coming later this month, and it will be and it will add Pauline and Diddy Kong to the roster. So, it will also add some gear, a new stadium, striker ranking, and customization options, plus much more. So, yeah, that's going to be coming out later this year. Hell yeah. Right back to me. With Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Wave 2 of DLC adds a new mechanical hero called Eno. Eno. This is the second wave of DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 3's expansion pass will add a new mechanical hero named Eno. It will also add challenge battles and new outfits. DLC will rely, will, will rely, will arrive, pardon me, on October will they rely? 13th, 2022. So. We're finally getting more information on Splatoon 3. I will go ahead and let y'all know right now that the first Splatfest for Splatoon 3 will arrive soon. And it will ask players to decide if they'd rather be or they'd rather bring gear, grub, or fun with them to the deserted island. The first Splatfest will take place on September 23rd and will run through the 25th. So it's just going to be one weekend long, but we all know that it is going to be a hell of a weekend for them. Yeah, Damn, this right. one's right up your alley. Yes, it is. And uh, by right up my alley, Wes, of course, is talking about the spooky alley. And that is Resident Evil Village Cloud will let Switch owners meet Lady Dimitrescu. While it's just the cloud version, Resident Evil Village Cloud will let Switch owners meet Lady Dimitrescu and experience the latest Resident Evil story. The cloud version will be released on October 28th, but those interested can try out a demo right now. Later this year, Switch owners will also gain access to cloud versions of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Resident Evil 2, and Resident Evil 3. That is a haul. Nice. That is That's a, a lot. Haul. You know, dude, especially off of a cloud run. Like, damn. Yeah, absolutely. Now, absolutely. I will say one of my... I've said it before on this. One of my favorite consoles that's ever been made of all time is the GameCube. This particular game, I have never actually played on GameCube. It's called Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. So... Um, apparently it is getting a remake um, and it's being called Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life, and it will be released on Switch in the summer of next year, in 2023. So again, another remaster. I'd rather just see new games, but hey, I mean, that's me. <laughs> that's me. What do I know? All right. Well, what I know, you know what I know? What I know is that Faith Farm is an RPG with a mix of magic and well farming. Fay Farm is a farm simming ar- farm simming a farm sim RPG for up to four players that mixes the best of magic with the fun of building and caring for your very own farm. Fay Farm takes place in Azoria, and players will need to use their skills and spells to help rebuild the world. I like a good farm simulator, to be honest. So, it's one of those things that sometimes you just kind of need to just turn your brain off, chill, not think about shit, and those simulation games kind of give you that. Uh, next one we're going to talk about is uh, a Square Enix game, and they just announced that Harvestella will be getting a demo as of um, the 13th, and uh, the game is going to be coming out November th- uh, November 4th. Furthermore, the demo will let you transfer your save and, and everything else to the full game when it launches, which is pretty cool. I mean, they didn't have to do that. No, they did not. So that, I mean, so that's pretty neat. Now, I am so excited for this one because I have told y'all about these games on numerous occasions. I don't think any of you have ever played one. I have not. So, this is fantastic. Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, comes to the West. Now, of course, also because of this, I never got to play this one. So, this is new for me as well. Fatal Frame, Mask of the Lunar Eclipse, which was first released in Japan on the Wii in 2008 and never made it to the West, will arrive on Nintendo Switch in early 2023. The story follows Ruka Minizuki, who must travel to an abandoned hospital to use the Camera Obscura to rediscover her lost memories and repel the evil spirits that will try to get in her way. The Fatal Frame games are fantastic, and if you've never been able to play one before, the fact that this one is going to be um, 
remastered. Is it remastered or is it just being brought to? It doesn't really uh, say. looks like it's just being brought to. It doesn't say. E- either way, give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. You will not be disappointed. All right. So the next game we're going to talk we'll about take is... a t- take us straight to fucking Fox Link. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo, and that's the thing, man. You're talking about the most adorable little fox in the world, and of course, we're talking about Tunic. So Tunic does arrive um, to the Switch later this month, September 27th, to be exact. It is a they are unapologetically showing their love for Legend of Zelda with this game. Um, <clears throat> in the IGN review, they said that Tunic is an, uh, is an unapologetically challenging action-adventure game that is charming, multi-layered, and immensely rewarding to solve. So it is, f- cur- it is currently on Game Pass. So I need, to, I need to make an effort to mess with it on Game Pass because everything i everything i've seen about it just it, it looks so cute and so much fun absolutely now i have the pleasure of telling you about uh, a game that's going to be arriving to switch in november and i'll say it's a high profile game if not it is it is the game of the year is it not yes it is yes it is yes and that is none other than it takes two the charming Such co-op adventure game. will be released on nintendo switch on november 4th 2022 we are very close the game can be played on one system, on two systems via local uh, via local wireless, or online with the included friends pass that lets you gift a free copy to your co-op buddy. Yes. How cool is that? And that was honestly one of the coolest things about it. You know what I mean? Because you could do the same thing with um, with the other console versions as well. And I think if my memory serves me right, uh, A Way Out is the same way. A Way Out did the same thing. Did they? I think so. Um, but yeah, look, I played this game. Hav and I threw down on this. It was one of the games we played. Um, I believe on like a on on the co-op Monday nights. But it was so much fun. It is so heartwarming. It is just genuine, man. Like that's probably one of the best ways I can explain the game. It is genuine. That's that's how I felt. That's how I explained um, Unraveled to people. I don't know if you have been able to mess with that yet. I haven't. I know, I know, but Anthony I keep did, looking at and it. he. I know Anthony did and loved it. Apparently, I don't know if he ever got to the second one or not, or maybe he did and he beat them both. But every yeah, dude, yo, definitely... every time I scroll through Game Pass, I always look at it, it's and so, and I have so the good. first one already downloaded. It's so, so um, next game is uh, something that we first saw on. I, I guess it was a it was a timed exclusive. So we first saw this game on the PlayStation, but now we are going to be seeing it on Switch. Sifu will bring the Kung Fu to Switch in November. So Sifu, the Kung Fu action brawler, will be released on on the Switch on November 8th of this year. In the game, players must work to get revenge on those who have wronged them. And every time you fall in combat, you get older. However, you will also unlock new skills that may be that, that may just mean the difference between victory and defeat. So it is this game takes such an interesting spin on a roguelike or road light game. You know I mean, it it very much sits along the same lines as like Hades. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, and like, I mean, every time you die, you I mean, you gain something. I mean, you I mean, you gain a little more experience about what you're doing and about who you got to fight. And at least with this game, you actually gain like experiential moves to try to be better because every time you die, you get older. Correct. Correct. The Mundo, sir. Now. The rest of this really, we're just kind of doing some housekeeping at this point. Uh, last little housekeeping details here, because it's it's not really it's not really much. Um, so front mission first, uh, front mission first remake and front mission two remake get a new look. Uh, front mission first remake and front uh, front mission two remake were featured in today's Nintendo. Well, not today's, but in September 13th Nintendo Direct, and the first game was revealed to be released in November, while the second will launch in 2023. Additionally, it was also reconfirmed that Front Mission Three is also in the works. So, if that's something that you uh, had tabs on, just know that they are working on it. And another game that they are not only working on, but they are expected to bring out um, at the end of February, it looks like, of next year. We have Ryza, uh, Altier, Ryza 3, Alchemist of the End. So 
Um, this game, Alchemist of the End and the Spirit Key, uh, to explore the mystery behind the islands, you have seemingly appeared out of nowhere. The game, like I said before, the game launches February 24th. The Spirit Key? The Spirit yes. Key? The Spirit Key. The Spirit Secret. Key? Secret. God damn it. <laughs> I love that you just tried to double down, too, while you were looking at it. I did. Yo, yo I, yo, I went hard <laughs> on that. I went hard on that double down. Fuck. Yeah, you did. All right, moving right along to Tales of Symphonia. Remat- uh, Tales of Symphony Remaster will let fans of the GameCube title experience the game's adventure once more. So the remaster will be released on Switch in early 2023 and will let fans of the GameCube title and newcomers alike once again experience the story of Lloyd, Colette, and more. And I have heard a lot of great things about this game. And it okay. has always intrigued me, and I have yet to I've never it. heard of it, so... But I think... Really? Yeah. Wow. All right. Nintendo All right. stuff never really sits on my radar too much. To be completely honest, even though you have a switch, <laughs> I have two of them. I have a switch and a switch light and still it's the same thing. Um, all right. So the next one we're going to talk about is uh, from the creators of Danganronpa uh, Master Detective Archives. We have Rain Code and this will uh, Rain Code will cast players as the. Amnesiac. What the fuck is that? Uh, Amnesiac. Amnesiac. Yeah. Amnesiac Detective Yuma as they work to solve crimes in a corporate controlled metropolis that never stops raining. Well, that sucks. Master Detective Archives Rain Code will be out in the spring of 2023. All right. Well, I got a quick one for y'all. SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake swims to switch in 2023. SpongeBob SquarePants uh, Cosmic Shake will bring Bikini Bottom to the switch in 2023, complete with all of the show's voice actors. So you're not being cheated. You're not being cheated. I'm being cheated by the game being made. What's your problem with, with SpongeBob? I don't like SpongeBob. I don't like what? SpongeBob. What? I've never liked SpongeBob. Anytime What's the kids your... watch SpongeBob, I, I I I go in the other room. Wow, I loved SpongeBob. I hate SpongeBob. I still love SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. You can call me whatever you want. I truly is don't care. The, I just it, hate is SpongeBob. It the, is it the is it the voice? Is it the no? It's it? not the voice because, dude, I listen to plenty of shit that has annoying voices. It's not the voice. It's like just everything about it i just there's nothing about it that i can just grasp and go okay that's funny like i honestly fair don't enough. fair enough um the rune factory 3 was first released on nintendo ds in japan in 2009 and like many of the games in the direct it will be getting a new life on the switch in 2023 rune factory 3 will have players farming building relationships with locals caring for monsters and much much more there will be a new mode that will let you enjoy quality time with your in-game spouse. What? Hey now. Bam, chicka, wham, wham. Oh yeah. <clears throat> There's going to be a new mode that will let you enjoy quality time with your in-game spouse. Coitus mode. Got it. <laughs> Additionally, it has confirmed that the brand new Rune Factory game will be released in the future. We have nothing else but that. All right. And that moves us right into various daylight, a daylight, day life, which is an immersive RPG that is available. Are you ready for this? Today. Huh. It's available today. What? Journey to the continent of Antoesia. Yeah, it's Where's not a real at? continent, people. Uh, oh, see, I was about to ask where that is. Where uh, that it, it's, it, yeah, it's, uh, it's in between. Um, Antarctica and Detroit. Um, anyway. Is it next to Wakanda? Probably. Mm. Um, gotcha. It is an immersive RPG that features job progression, strategic exploration, and an innovative battle system. Furthermore, it's available today. Like I said, today on the Switch. Like, you can listen to us. Go on the Switch if you're blessed enough to have one. And you can play it today. Uh, it was originally uh, released on the Apple Arcade service for iOS in 2019. But wow. you know when else you can get it? Today, on the Switch. Wait a minute. Now, when should we buy it? Um, I mean, you can buy it whenever you want. I would suggest today. <laughs> like today, whatever you're doing when you hear this right now, even like if you're driving, turn around, go home, download it, and then go back to doing what you got to do. If you're at work, tell the boss, got to go home real quick because this game, Various Day Life, is available today. <laughs> I'm so glad you're pushing this point. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Radiant Silver Gun. 
Yeah, today. Today. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Radiant Silver Gun will bring the 1998 arcade classic to the same na- uh, of the same name to the Switch later today. Oh, another one. Today. today. Oh, now today. what are we going to do? Now how are you going to choose? How can you, you don't have to choose? choose. That's the best part about it. You can download. You, gonna... can, you can have both of them download in the queue. Yeah, true. And you can download them both today. Today. The game features five different types of weapons and task players with taking down enemies of the same color for a bigger bonus. Today. Unfortunately, the game that I'm about to bring to you guys, you cannot get today, but we're close. And uh, that is Factorio. Factorio tasks players with surviving on a strange planet with strong production lines. After you crash and are stranded on a strange alien planet, Factorio will task you with building a new rocket to get home by utilizing the world's resources. As you grow your operation, you'll be at risk from the planet's wildlife. Luckily, you can always join up with a friend in cooperative cross-platform multiplayer. Love to hear that. Love to hear that. Factorio launches on Nintendo Switch on October 28, 2022. So again, you you are about a, a month and some change away. Yeah. And uh I would that is it that that whole uh, you can always join up with a friend in cooperative cross-platform multiplayer is a sentence I hope to see a lot moving forward. Yes, I love that. Yeah, the cross-platform stuff is some of the best stuff you can find right now. It's the tits. Now, now I got to ask, is this next one is this pound or ib? Oh. It's I. It's an I, so it's Ib. It's Ib, okay. Or it's IB, either one, but the fact that there's no periods leads me to believe it's Ib. Ib looks to be a creepy adventure game set in an art gallery that stars a young girl who must unravel what is actually going on. Choices matter and will determine which of the seven endings you will see as a player. Wow. Okay, so this is like... uh, until dawn and just a whole bunch of other um fmv games so yeah, the replay value yes and actually this is something i would fully expect um adrian you mean our friend from um unknown games podcast to play 100 percent. legit and now it's my duty to talk to you about oddballers a party game that supports up to up to six players locally and online oddballers is a party game filled with mini games and a ton of customization options and that will support local and online play with up to six players when it arrives on the Switch in 2023. So if you're an oddballer yourself, this game is right up your alley. Now it's time for everybody to get fit. Put the gloves on. Do a little tiptoe. What are we talking about? You talking about fit like like fitness? I'm talking about fit as in boxing, bro. You got you you got to get fit to box. So the yeah, world of fist, the world of fist of the North Star and fitness are set to combine in fitness boxing fist of the north star in march of 2023 players will be able to use their fist to become the boxing champion of the world strange sentence players will be able to use their fist to become boxing champions as opposed to using my dick to become a boxing champion i'm not quite sure i don't i don't want to be at that match i don't want you to be at that match i don't want to be at that match yeah i mean i'm certainly not going to have the reach advantage but I mean, it is, it is what it is. <laughs> Poppy's coming with that three-inch Punisher. What can I say? <laughs> but anyway, I'm better moving than right Lee, along. Bitch, one-inch punch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Just Dance 2023 edition will get Switch owners grooving in November. The latest entry in the Just Dance franchise will arrive on Switch on November 22nd. Just Dance 2023 will let you dance to BTS's Dynamite and many other new songs with friends or solo. I actually fucking, I love those games. It is a great way to, you know, to just have get fun. a little sweat. Just not get, think about get, shit. Get a little sweat going, you know, be active, like get up, listen to some music. That Like people dance around their house to music when they're doing shit anyway. I was <laughs> so, earlier today. I, I do it all. Time. I was cleaning my I, dude. I was in the basement. I was cleaning up. I'm 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 creating a new area for the kids down here, and um I I had some music going, and yo I was fucking grooving, bro. Whenever anything like Gracie's Corner comes on, bro, I don't know if you ever heard of Gracie's Corner, but mm-hmm. boy, I, shit don't ever get so clean until that comes on. So the last from this Nintendo Direct. 
half hour through is Endless Dungeon. So Endless Dungeon is a procedurally generated roguelite that will have you and up to three of your friends working together to make to make it out of a space station as it is being overrun by monsters. Um, this game will be released in 2023. That actually sounds like fun. I, I feel agree. like th- I feel like that one could probably end up being a good time. I agree. A hun DP. All right. So we gave y'all the Nintendo Direct. Hell, last episode we gave y'all the state of play. So how about y'all listen to this echo? And we can give you something else. So now it's time to go ahead and let all the crew members at home and the ones abroad. We're gonna tell you what we are playing. All right, so how do you want to start this? Because our Friday night was probably one of the most awesome Friday nights I think I have I personally have ever had. Ding. All right, so Andy couldn't find his streaming stuff, some of his streaming stuff. So we decided to... Oh, no, it it was the laptop. Yeah. That is true. Streamlab. So um, I finally was able to talk these guys into yeeting with me for the night. And we played some Fall Guys. And boy, was that a fucking trip. Yo. Yeah, that was awesome, dude. It is. I feel like that's kind of what I said when I first told you guys about it when it was free on um, PlayStation. Yeah, so we decided to run a... um, I had it set up to to not only do solos, but also do like squad stuff. You know what I mean? Just just wherever it can find a spot for us to play. You know what I mean? Yeah, because all, dude, I just wanted to play. I I, I didn't care about what we did. But Andy, Anthony, and myself all ended up in the final with a few other people. And Anthony held a guy, got, and, and, and then they both got knocked off. And didn't realize it was the final. He thought he'd be back up to go ahead and like keep on playing. That was funny as shit. And then you, you got knocked off. Yeah. And then I lost it. <laughs> I lost it. Woo. I got my first crown. No, we fucking did not. It was one of the events that they had going right now. Um, I mean, they've been running these. I mean, every now and again, they'll run these type of events because they had like a Sonic one a few weeks back. That was a lot of fun. I mean, that's how you see everybody with like the thick Sonic and thick Knuckles costumes. I mean, it was from that. So, yeah, so we ran some... Yeah, we ran some soccer, and the cool thing about the soccer was, so it's 16 on 16, and then one, wh- whatever team wins, you know what I mean, after like a minute, minute and a half of playing, whichever team has more goals wins, and then that team gets split, and then you play, I mean, eight on eight, and then that gets split, then you play four on four, and that's the final. So we had, didn't ours go into overtime?
Oh my god. Yes. And then uh our Mr. Clyb Mr. Uh, Clyburn. Twisted game, the uh, twisted game, twisted Kate podcast. Certainly wasn't that. Yes. I think it might have been seven to one or eight to two, I think was the ending. But yeah, yo, it was He was so mad. He was so mad that one got past him. Like for real. Like, yo, yo, he was so pissed. But yeah, so we so we won that, yeah, we won the the team on that one. And that was great, you know, because we had him with us. Um Yeah, so yeah, so we ended the stream and then Hav jumped on. So it was Hav, Mike, and myself, and we were running uh some soccer. I think we won in soccer, and then we went we went into some solo shit, and I won another one. So like, yo, that shit was the, last night. I think I th- I, th- I think it was total of like four four crowns yesterday. I'm not realizing shit. I don't have any potential with this. <laughs> oh man. It, yeah, it was it was such a great night though. So much fun. <clears throat> and that's the thing, man. Yo, yo, plus like you have like say say, say you make it to the finish line. Then you're watching other random people run. And when you watch them run, like, dude, you're seeing some insane game physics happen. That is just so funny. And, you know I mean, and like, yo, that part I enjoy as well. Um, Monday night, uh, we, I'm not, I honestly don't remember if I, if I streamed or not. Um, I might have, but, um, we ran some, uh, we ran some more zombies. Zombie. Oh yeah, we, yeah, I did stream Zombie Wars. I mean, we kicked some of that. That was fun. Um, and then uh, kind of messed around a little more on um on Temtem. I haven't. Re- I don't have much to talk back on yet. I, dude, I still haven't figured out how to actually like do missions and like shit like that yet. So I mean, I'm still I'm still figuring it out. But um, what about you, man? Really? That's actually that's actually pretty legit. Like, yo, last run. Let's get I mean, let's get it for you.
Man, yo, you put orange and black to a new fucking level. <clears throat> okay. I figured that's what you were going to say. Hmm. What? Charles. Oh. Yeah, 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 the white guy. I don't remember his name. Oh, shit. That is awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> yeah, that shit's wild, dude. That's cool, though, man. That is cool, dude. That is really cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, at least you put points on the board. I mean, I'm guessing you're a bench guy. sucks oh man I don't like that
Okay. Okay. That's cool, dude. That's really cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's sick, dude. I like that. <clears throat> Fuck yeah. Oh, nice. Fuck. You don't got no signing bonus? That is hardcore. I don't I don't need this shit right now. What the fuck are you showing me this for? Leave me the fuck alone. That's what I want to say. Okay. You gotta get your foot in the door, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta work.
Yeah. Yeah. Y'all get to hear me again at the end of the episode so I can go ahead and let y'all know how you can connect with CGC. First and foremost, you have our website, which is consolegamingcrew.com, as well as our email, which is consolegamingcrew at gmail.com. Our Twitter is at consolecrew. That's probably the easiest way you can get a hold of us, and I will be getting back to you the fastest, guaranteed. YouTube and Instagram are both consolegamingcrew, and just like you heard in the beginning of the episode, bossrush.net best place you can go to find everything and anything you want not only with consoles and pc but also just all around entertainment that you want to find you will get it there boss rush network bossrush.net be better we also have a twitch which is cgc podcast you have my my normal co-op monday nights myself mike from the twisted cape podcast as well as javier and dan we go ahead and kick some four player games right now we're running zombie wars 4 um, and then we also have our Fridays, which are either Fun Friday or Freaky Friday, depending on who is running it. Right now, we've been doing a little bit of uh, Fun Friday, you know what I mean, running some Fall Guys, but uh, Freaky Friday is coming back. Andy will be jumping into it. Um, so until next time, let me go ahead and just ask y'all to please stay safe, wash your hands, mask up, do what you got to do to feel good, because it is all about feeling good. And as always, y'all. Game on. Game on.